Hey guys, welcome to the workout. It's Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I've got a barbell superset for you working shoulders and legs. But before we get into that, if you want more workouts like this, mobility tips, nutrition tips, and exercise tips, make sure that you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Ready? Let's dive into it. Guys, you know I like my format to be straight through 15 minutes. We're going to be using a strict press with the barbell and we're going to be doing a front loaded reverse lunge. So it's going to be an easy transition to go from the strict press right into that reverse lunge keeping the same load on the bar in that front rack position. I'm going to be using about 65% of my body weight today and I'm shooting for as many reps as possible per set before moving on from the strict press to the lunge. I'm also going to go for as many rounds as possible. Of course, if needed, rest in there when you need, catch your breath and then get back into the workout before that 15 minutes is up. Ready? Let's go ahead and dive into it. Ready? Here we go. When I set up for the strict press, I want to make sure my hands are about thumb's length from the smooth grip on the bar. I'm rolling my shoulder blades down and back and rotating my elbows down toward the floor as much as possible. I'm going to walk under the bar keeping my shoulders in external rotation. When I step back, I'm keeping my core braced so I'm pressing through the floor creating a pillar. Tight quads, tight glutes, tight abs, making sure that I'm staying strong through the press. There should be no arch, lean, or rock through it. As the bar passes my head, I want to bring it back overhead. Imagine pulling the bar back through the chest on each rep as it comes down. As we're doing the lunge, we want to keep those elbows high out front, making sure the shoulder blades are still on the back as much as possible. Core engaged well, so my abs are braced. I'm stepping back nice and deep to make sure that I feel my glutes flexing tight as I step back. And I'm lowering in using the strength of both legs, driving back up and coming to stand, switching legs each time. From the front foot, I want three points of contact. The first metatarsal, the fifth metatarsal, and the heel. With the leg reaching back, I want to be pointing and reaching with the smallest toes, planting those so the leg is a little bit in internal rotation, stabilizing the hip in that extended position. Do you remember how you held me then? Now you got me reaching out.
Great job guys. Those shoulders should have a pretty good pump at this point in time. Should be breathing heavy, should be sweating really well right now. If you guys like this workout, please let me know by clicking that button down below. Share it with a friend, challenge them to reps and rounds. I'm gonna put my volume right here so you guys can see what I completed just for comparison value if you wanna use that for some reference, obviously go by what you can do with keeping and maintaining quality form throughout each rep. If you guys have not already, make sure you take a moment to hit that subscribe button if you want more workouts like this, nutrition, mobility, and exercise tips to get you moving well and headed in the right direction. Leave a comment below letting me know where it got really tough for you in there, what your volume was and how you did with this workout. And finally, if you need a little bit more guidance, if you have trouble with your mobility in that front rack position, if you just want something a little bit more structured and planned for you, make sure you take a moment, stop by our website. I'm gonna put that link down below in the description. Fill out the coaching application or schedule your first hour free with me and we can get going in that direction as well. I wanna thank you guys for working out with me today. We'll see you next time. <laughs>